up everybody this is Louie and we are back with another tutorial um, this is just my kind of my guide to iCleaner Pro or iCleaner whichever one you use um, so I have found what I believe to be the perfect way to um, to clean a maximum amount of data but not remove things you like um, so I'm kind of attached to things so what I will do is I keep message attachments there at the top. I keep that on smart so that I do not, um, so I keep like the good ones, but it'll delete like stupid ones. Um, and right here, uh, I don't actually have any included apps, I don't think, no. So these are the, the boxes I have on. I have Safari applications, software updates, uh, but I never have any. Uh, battery usage, Cydia, unused dependencies, but I keep Cydia sources off. Log files, cache, temporary, and file type cleanup. So, if we analyze real quick, we can see how much I can save with this. I haven't done it in a couple, like a week or so, so we'll see. All right. Okay, so we can save 745 megabytes, so that's that's really good. Um, yeah, so for those of you wondering, people have asked me this before, that's why I made this video. So yeah, that's the good settings for iCleaner. Um, iCleaner Pro, Pro really gives you just the these types of things. Uh, I should probably make another video about that. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.